Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on a Glossy Box. I'm a little bit late bringing this to you guys because I was in vacation, well I was in Canada on vacation when my box came, but it is the 4th of July and what better time to bring you the June box which is featuring this beautiful 4th of July pattern and the cap is just a little bit bigger so I can't wait to bring you all the review of everything in here. If you're unfamiliar about what Glossy Box is, it's a monthly subscription that features beauty products, sometimes high end, sometimes low end, usually deluxe sample size, full size products from well known brands rather than indie brands and it costs about $20, $21, $22 a month. I forget exactly what it is with tax and everything but there is no shipping that's everything. So let's take a look at what's in the box. Open this up. So, every box comes with a little info card, and this is the Stars and Stripes edition. So I got a whole bunch of items. Now this month I got Strange Beautiful Nail Polish. Oh, look at this. Inside it's got the theme too. really think this is cute. So, let's see. So the first item is the Strange Beautiful. Now these are the mini version because I have full-size versions of Strange Beautiful nail polishes. But I kind of like this better because each one pops out of the little top, whereas all the Strange Beautiful nail polishes I've tried before were like wrapped up with a ribbon or just came apart, look like look like julep bottles. These are like little mini julep bottles, but I like just I like the whole combination here. And I used it today, and I put gold glitter on top as part of my um, well, I used the the navy color as part of my Fourth of July polish, and I've never had a problem with the um, Strange Beautiful polish. Now the full size is eighteen dollars. This I really don't think is the full size because it's very small. But um, this is um, a Strange Beautiful color block pairing enables you to color your nails and go effortlessly. Outstanding for travel, air, air airline friendly. Yes, this is the mini version. But I'm thinking they're charging eighteen for this, which is a bit pricey. I mean, it is just nail polish. It does it does go on very opaque, and this is like one coat. Very very nice. So um, I still wouldn't pay eighteen dollars for it. It's a lot of money. The next thing is Rux, Rusk Texture Dry Finishing Spray, and it comes in a little um, aerosol kind of bottle, and it says dry finishing spray, medium hold. So basically, what they're telling you is it's hairspray. Now, it's saying here that it's a talc-free, dry styling spray. A lot of sprays do have talc powder, which can make your hair look dull. So I'm guessing that this doesn't make you look dull. It says, best of all, no white flakes or chalky residue. That's always a good thing. The full size is $18 for um, 8 ounces, and this is 1.5 ounce. So this is a little bit above an eighth. <clears throat> Of the product, so that's pretty good. By the way, I looked at the thing. This is the full. This is eighteen dollars. This is a little bit pricey. The next item is the Aries Pentagonian Pentagonian body butter, and this one, um, it's not the full size, I don't think. But what a pretty packaging! I kind of like the packaging on it. Um, and this, the full size is six point seven five, and this is one point three five, but it's still a decent size. At least it's not a foil packet. And it says tackle skin dry patches with an all natural body formula, enriched with herbal extracts and vitamins. This fragrant infusion of jasmine, by the way, I love the way this smells. Very, very feminine. Um, it's jasmine, rosemary, lavender, bergamot, and essential fur essential oils. Oils harkens to Patagonia's contrasting landscape. It's definitely a unique scent, and I really like the way it smells. I don't have anything else that smells just like that. The next thing is the Camille Beekman Platinum Gold Imperial Repair Hand Therapy. I'm not sure why they sent me this because it seems like something that an old lady would use. Um, just like you know, um, a hand therapy, like hand therapy. I think of like an old lady putting the lotion on before she goes to bed with the white gloves. Um, I don't, I don't know why they sent this to me, but the full size is, I dropped it, I'm sorry, the full size is $10, um, I don't think we got the full size. Um, the next product is the Stigma, I thought it was Sigma. <coughs> <coughs> the next product is the Sumita Booty, and this is a, The next item is the Sumita Beauty, and this is a champagne eyeshadow pencil. The full size is $18 for 0.8 ounces, and we did receive the full size. So I'm just going to open this up and swatch it up for you guys. Let me just open this up. And swatch it up. Here we go. 
So really decently pigmented, frosty kind of eye look. Definitely a throwback to the 90s. So overall, I really liked Glossy Box's Stars and Stripes Edition. What did you guys think of it? Did you like it? Um, did you hate it? Did you get different items than me? What'd you get? Let me know what you guys thought of your Glossy Box for June 2014. And um, if you aren't subscribed and you'd like to subscribe, I'm going to leave my referral link below in the info section. Thank you so much for watching and please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.